Okay, so in this video, uh, what I want to start diving into are Microsoft Access tables. And for this particular video, we want to just talk about what are they? What is a table? So to start out, what I want to do here, I'm back here at the main menu for Access. I want to open a blank database. And we're going to just do a little demo here. I'm going to call this database my pet store and we'll use we'll use a pet store as the theme for this database we're going to create here now if you recall the first video when you do launch a blank database you get this table one that opens a tab for you just kind of to get you started so we'll go ahead and just use this table now when it comes to what exactly is a table, in its shortest form, I guess, a table is a place where you store data that has some sort of value or meaning and that has a set of fields that somehow are, are related to the same thing. So let's say we're building this table here, and this table is going to be used to store um, information about our inventory at this pet shop that we're creating. So when you start thinking about what kind of data would be related to a inventory for a pet store, um, you start thinking about that and decide what kind of fields you would add to your table. So we'll go ahead and click to add. Um, when you do that, you get this list of data types that you can pick for your field. Is it text? Is it a number? Is it currency? Is it a yes, no flag? Um, you see all these data types. Let's say the first field I'm going to pick is a text field, and I'm going to call this the um, species, since we're talking about animals. And the next one, let's say it's going to be color. So maybe the species is of this animal is a dog, and we'll do the color. Uh, another thing I could put in here, let's say I'm going to put in a, um, how about a date time? We're going to call this their, uh, the animal's date of birth, so we know how old this animal is. And then why don't we go ahead and add one more field. We'll make this a number field, and this will be, uh, why don't we do their, um, their cage number. So I'll just, I'll just put cage so that I know where they are in my store. Uh, there we go. I, I think that's a good start for our inventory table. We'll have the animal's species, their color, their date of birth, and their cage number. Now, the next thing we would do with a table is populate it with data. So let's just do that really quickly. On this table, let's just have one record. Let's say the species is a dog, uh, and the, the dog is white. Let's say their date of birth. Let's say this dog is a year old, so we can give them a birthday. Let's say they're, we know that their birthday is June 15th, 2016, and let's say they're in cage number three. And that's really it. So we now have a table created with data in it. Now you notice when I started entering data that this animal got an ID number, this first field, an ID number of one. This is going back to the relationship database aspect of Microsoft Access. As this database grows and we have multiple tables worth of data, we can always refer back to this particular animal as animal number one. Instead of saying the white dog or the dog that was born on 2016 or the dog over in cage three or what have you, instead of referring to this record by any of those pieces of data, from here on out in the database, they'll just be known as animal number one. And then as these tables grow, we can reference back to that ID number when we're writing reports or we're looking at sales information or maybe we have more information about 
that um, that dog um, that we want to relate back to. This is where um, Axis is starting to build out the ability to relate all the data back with these ID fields. So we'll definitely have more of that to come, but now uh, you know how to create a table and what kind of information may go in a table. So there's just uh, one final thing I want to do with this table is I want to actually save it. So up here in the upper left where that disk is, you can click save. And it asks you, uh, what do you want to name the table? And let's just call it inventory. And hit OK. And there we go. Now it's over in our panel as inventory.